Good morning. It's the final day of stage one of Bet Victor Championship League Snooker. 15 days down, one more to go until we're into winner's week. Phil Yates is with me to preview all of today's action. But Phil, before we get stuck in to today, as I say every day, let's take a quick look back at yesterday evening and a, a sort of t a story of two tables because on table one it was quite plain sailing for Joe Perry and on table two it went right down to the wire. Yes, Joe Perry made a, a very good job of yesterday. OK, he lost his last match, but he needed to win one frame in that match to go through. He won the first frame with a nice century break. The 50th, by the way, in the tournament so far, just underlining the standard. And after that, his concentration slipped a little, so Elliot Slesser beat him 3-1. But I think when it really mattered, Perry, well, the class shone through. He's a top 16 player and he did a really good job, particularly, I thought, against Kasper Filipiak. And we predicted on table two it would be a really close group uh, over there. And actually, it did play out that way. The final match was between Jordan Brown and Michael White. Either of them could have qualified with a win. If it had been a draw, Yan Bing Tao would have qualified. So all to play for in that one. And it was Jordan who took the win. Yes, it looked as though Yan Bing Tao was going to get through by virtue of the high break. For that to happen, it had to be a two-all draw. But in the last frame, it was a really strange psychological dynamic because Jordan Brown was desperate to win it and top the group. Michael White really couldn't care less because he knew he was going to be third either way. And so you got one guy playing cautiously, playing normally if you like. Michael was going for everything. It came down to the colours. It looked as though Brown had blown it because he missed the pink on two occasions. But then White missed the pink and left it right over the pocket. Okay, well on to today's action. Just two more places left in our Winners Week Stage 2 groups. And on table one, first of all, uh, Tayan Pengfei, Robbie Williams, Nopon and Oliver Lyons. Quite an open group, that one, by the look of it. It is, absolutely. I think on recent form, you'd probably have to say that Nopon Sankham was the favourite. I commentated when he beat Sean Murphy in the first round of the World Championship. Got to the last 16 there, so that was a, a real feather in his cap. And I think, yeah, just about favourite, but I think any of the four players there legitimately could come through. Of course, 32 groups in this first stage. And in group 32, we were expecting Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's not going to be here, so an opportunity for John Astley. Also an opportunity for the other players in that group now. Lee Hang, Alex Borg and Julian Boyko. I guess Lee Hang, good young Chinese player we can look forward to seeing today. Very, very steady. Um, I'm personally looking forward to seeing Julian Boyko, the 15-year-old from Ukraine. On the day before he was 15, he was still a 14-year-old, can you believe? He played Judd Trump in the European Masters here in Milton Keynes last week. The match didn't last very long. It lasted around 45 minutes. Trump beat him 5-0. Obviously, Boyko was really looking forward to playing Ronnie O'Sullivan in this. With O'Sullivan's withdrawal, that's not been possible. But maybe the teenager could come through. That would be a story. Wouldn't it just? Well, you can see if that's how it unfolds. We're on at 11am at matchroom.live. And also, if you're in the UK, tune in to Free Sports.